we have taken our new 338 Championship Edition on a number of hunts since unlocking it on Parquet about a week ago, and all those hunts have kind of had the same goal of trying to find and take some kind of cool animal with it. It's one of my favorite looking weapons in the game, and that's never really been a thing with any other weapon. For a long time, we kind of had a series of trying to get a diamond with every single weapon in the game, but it's been about calibers and not the specific weapons. So to specifically go after a diamond or a rare with a weapon that we do have a diamond of in terms of the 338 Range Master is a little bit of a different thing, but I really like this gun. I think we'll be neat to get a diamond or rare of some kind. And I'm hoping out here on Verhunga Savannah we'll have a chance of that. And there are three species, much like on some of the other maps that we can take with it ethically. Lions, Cape Buffalo, and Gemsbuck. All those, I think, are reasonably common diamonds. So fingers crossed today is going to be the day. And hopefully by the end of this, we'll be sitting behind something cool taken with the Championship 338. So for starters... A level 5 and level 6 lion, we actually managed to hard shot the 5, despite the kind of broadside angle. And then for the 6, I thought we could kind of make a hard shot since he was facing us. But I can see the vital blood, and just kind of the way that lions tend to react, he probably didn't go all that far. In fact, he's just kind of laying right over there in the brush. So I'm hoping that's going to be a gold a lot of the times lately. When we end up shooting a level 6 lion, they are silvers, so... Got a gold this time, 44.6, and just to the left of the heart on that shot, but good to make a couple of decent shots with 338 early, and hopefully that continues, and like I said before, hopefully there's something cool waiting on us out here. Well, at the very least, we get to see a pretty good example, I think, of why the 338 is probably significantly worse than the 300 in certain situations, and it's that long reload animation where we kind of have to do this dance and just wait for pretty much perfect opportunities to get a shot in because we just don't have the luxury of kind of taking a risky shot. So we got that level 7 in the lungs. That actually is one that I was tracking. He's a 802 to 950 kg gray. Unfortunately, with that max weight, just a 7. But that shot there is going to take down the 5. And, I mean, despite the fact that we did have the single shot weapon, we still got them down pretty quick, though I think a third one would have made that a whole lot more difficult. We ended up having to hit that one three times, and then our level 7 just once got him in the lung, and at the very least, a gold cape buffalo out of them kind of charging us. But I talked about this zone up here a lot in the last year or so, and something has changed, I think, with the Rancho update, where it's not like all the cape buffalo feed right up on top of the hill anymore, and it's not quite as easy to spot them. So what I've started doing is just kind of running through and seeing what will charge me and picking up tracks. And in that case, we got one of the better ones to charge. Like I said, one that I was actually tracking, but it's, like I said, a little tougher. And I've no doubt that I've been spooking some in the past, but you can kind of see, actually, there's another pretty good one down there. They just kind of don't all feed in the same place anymore. But yeah, let's go in and see if we can maybe get that mythical as well then. If we can time it right... It's kind of an opportunity for a hard shot, but I tend to prefer that they are alert to take that shot, so I wanted to try it just because it's sort of a learning opportunity. I'm not even sure we had a lung there, but sort of a learning opportunity in the fact that we may be taking more of those shots where they're not alert, or at least may have more opportunities for the game to crash. And I guess in this case, kind of lose out on a flesh shot mythical K buffalo but if anything probably learn to not go for those shots and go ahead and alert them in the future i've always struggled so badly with judging chem's bug, but at up to 354 trophy rating this one at least gives us a chance it is alarmed there's just like no room to get a frontal heart shot in there it finally looked to the side and let us get that shot in there so fingers crossed for that one there was, as we were heading over here, a black-brown springbuck, and it was obviously a female because, unfortunately, they can only be female, and I was going to shoot it really just to highlight that point. That's actually it running away right there, so I don't know if we'll get a shot at it. It just went to nervous. We'll kind of see what it wants to do. Maybe we can get a 22 shot out near it and get it to go alert. And like I said, my whole point was pretty much just to highlight that because I think 
A diamond spring bug that had that for a type, if males could be it, would be one of the most sought after diamonds on Brahunga Savannah, and there's a number of fur types on Brahunga that are like that. Crowned wildebeest are another one. But yeah, unfortunately, those can only be a female, and I have this hope that I've been holding out really since Brahunga came out that someday maybe male springbuck can be black crown and maybe male wildebeest can be crown. But as of now, unfortunately that is not the case. But for our Kinsbuck, 325 gold, kind of to be expected, like I said. I'm so bad at judging these things, I really have no idea unless it is a level 5 at this point, but at least another solid gold and kind of an opportunity to mention the spring buck since it was there. Nice. A bronze level 2 black brown spring buck, and just one of the coolest animals I think you can get on Brahunga Savannah, and unfortunately, they are just an uncommon, they're not a rare, but I mean, yeah, like I said, if it could ever happen where someday male spring buck could be that, I would grind spring buck just so much to try to get one of them. I want to say that that lion looks just a little bit darker, and I think it's just the shadows, but Optimism has gotten us a number of rares over the years, and we're actually back where we started this video, so that, I think we got a long shot. She went to drink right as we shot, and I really thought we were going to be kind of in trouble there, but we got her. This one, compared to the one that we shot first, looks a lot lighter, but I'm very confident that it's not a blonde, so maybe just maybe there's something to that. I'm kind of doubting it, but like I said, the optimism to at least take the shot and go and look has gotten us some rares before, so worth a try. And definitely that is just a common female lion, but it I don't think is the lightest variant, so that does kind of give me just a little more optimism for this one. I can't quite tell the way that it's laying behind that brush. I think it is a common as well. That said, even the dark that we have, or the dark brown I think they're called, I really couldn't tell until I was uh, over right at it. 40.40 trophy rating, it's a pretty big one. And the fact that we even got that lung shot is pretty incredible. Just the perfect placement to end up right there when it was going to a drink, but it is just a common. It, I guess, would be a rare that we already have, so it wouldn't be the biggest deal, but it would kind of cross off that uh, on the list for getting a cool animal with the Championship 338 anyway, had it been a rare. Okay. All right, been tracking this guy for a little bit now, and it actually is not only a level nine, but the max score estimate of 47 to 50. So I'm kind of guessing he should stop out there. In fact, he's going to, if we can get past that tree, I think we can just drop him there with the championship 338. I can't even begin to explain just this is a thing that happens with a lot of videos where we'll kind of spend an hour an hour and a half maybe running around hunting sometimes even two hours and then i'll kind of just zone out and spend a bunch of time and to really properly convey the passage of time can be difficult but it's probably been about an hour and a half since our last kill and all of a sudden just a max weight lion track leads to a level 9, so, fingers crossed, and he is our diamond with the championship, 338 at 49.1. It really felt like just another hunt where it wasn't going to happen, and we'll go ahead and send this guy to the trophy lodge, but finally, we got our championship 338 trophy, and no time wasted today coming back to the trophy lodge. We're actually in our second trophy lodge here with our brand new 49.1 diamond lion. And I think we have maybe two higher scoring than this in the main lodge, or at least one that's actually placed. But I do kind of wish our second lodge here was a Saseka Safari Lodge because Spring Creek Manor, at least as far as I know, doesn't have any places to put a weapon. And I'd really like to have the Championship 338 somewhere. So I think we are going to go back to the main lodge still and at least go ahead and place that. I feel like now that we have a trophy with it, it's a little more, I guess, fitting to place it in there because it actually is not a gun that we've been able to put in there. I seem to recall placing weapons in all these spaces, but there was a bug, if I remember correctly, where they were randomly just kind of getting removed. So 
this is one where there wasn't anything placed anyway, and it kind of works. It's in the sort of big game hallway here. So I like it. I would like to eventually get like a main lodge edition and have the championship 338 edition with it. But for now, we'll go with that. Like I said, I've kind of been waiting to place it in the lodge until we got something special with it. And that way it really fits in here along with all of the other stuff. But actually, before we head off, the line we have mounted currently is 49.6. So I do think we do have two bigger than the 49.1, but definitely a good sized lion. And just finally getting that trophy animal with the 338 championship. Like I said, it didn't seem like it was going to happen. That was a long time spent without getting anything, but we finally got it. And that's just one more thing off the list for this trophy lodge. But anyway, I think that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.